Hello and welcome to episode 141 of Rivers Arcade Review. My name is Ed. This channel is dedicated to the coin-operated video games of yesteryear. Today I'm doing a viewer request. Today's game was requested by the viewer Pac-Man Fan 2008 and the game they requested was Moto Race USA. Moto Race USA was released in 1983 by Williams Electronics. My first time playing this game was on main. Motor Race USA is a racing game in which you control a motorcycle racer with a two-way joystick for left and right movement and two buttons, one for throttle and one for brake. You need to pilot your motorcycle through a series of roads in a cross-country race across America. Game begins in Los Angeles. Your motorcycle will appear at the bottom of the screen in the middle of five race cars. These cars will be numbered 1 through 4 as well as a number 0. There will be a countdown from 3 to 1 to start the race. Once the clock reaches zero, the race will begin. After the race begins, pressing the throttle button will speed up your motorcycle. Your top speed will be 150 miles per hour or 210 kilometers per hour based on management settings. You can slow your motorcycle two different ways. You can let off the throttle and you will coast to your slowest speed of 42 miles an hour in about 2.6 seconds or you can press the brake button and slow down to 42 miles per hour in 0.8 seconds. You can use either way to slow down based on the need and how quick you need to slow down. The object of the game is to pass as many cars as you can on your way to New York. There will be a meter on the bottom right of the playfield. This meter will begin at 90 and it will change based on how many cars you pass throughout the race. Every time you pass a car, the meter will show an increase in position and every time a car passes you, it will show a decrease in the position. Once the meter reaches 1, there will be no more cars ahead of you to pass. To the right of the road playfield will be your fuel gauge. You will continually burn fuel during the race. Anytime you crash, you will lose a significant amount of fuel as a penalty. The amount of fuel loss will be based on management settings. Occasionally, on the roads will be gas cans. Driving over these cans will increase your fuel approximately 10%. The race will consist of five legs. At the end of each leg, you will reach a checkpoint. The checkpoints will be Las Vegas, Houston, St. Louis, and Chicago. Each of the legs of the race will be more difficult than the previous one. Each leg will consist of two parts. The first part will consist of an overhead view of the race. The racing surface will be a traditional paved surface. The road will make many twists and turns as well as forks in the road. Driving off the paved surface will cause you to crash. Along the road will be many water puddles. These puddles won't cause you to crash although your acceleration will be slower when on the water. Occasionally there will be a vertical white stripe on the road surface. Driving over the stripe will cause your motorcycle to pop a wheelie and award you bonus points. The second part of the leg, you'll face a straight road which will have the Las Vegas skyline in the distance. There will be oncoming cars on the road that you must avoid because if one contacts you, you will crash and lose precious fuel. Passing these cars will not advance your position. Once you reach the end of the leg, you'll automatically drive into the horizon and you'll be given bonus points based on your current position. You'll also receive extra fuel for reaching the checkpoint. Your fuel tank will have 40% of its capacity added. The Las Vegas lake will take place in a desert setting. Throughout the desert will be small streams that you will have a wooden log bridge that you will need to drive across or you will crash into the river. Occasionally there will be a small ramp at the base of the river that will allow you to jump the river for extra points. In addition, there will be tow trucks that will drive and drop off small cars that will act as obstacles that you must avoid. Occasionally there will be numbers between rocks and trees. You can drive over these numbers for bonus points. Whatever number is displayed will be the score that you will earn. Near the end of the first part of the league, you will enter another paved section, although several of the portions will now be underground, so you will be driving blind through these sections. After the short paved section, you will once again face a straight road with the Houston skyline in the background. Once reaching the end, you will once again receive the bonus based on your rank, as well as extra fuel being awarded. The third leg will take place once again on the paved road, like the first leg, although the road will be narrower in many sections. The final part of the leg will take place with the Seattle skyline in the background. The fourth leg will once again take place in a desert setting similarly to the second leg, including the road with underground portions. The final part of the leg will take place with the Chicago skyline in the background. After reaching Chicago, you will face the final leg of the race. This leg will take place on pavement once again, although there will now even be narrower sections with even more curves. After the road portion, you will face the final straightaway. This straightaway will have the New York skyline in the background. Once you finish the straightaway section, your motorcycle will ride off into the horizon while the Star Spangled Banner plays along with the graphic Viva New York. You will earn bonus points based on your position as well as bonus for each unit of fuel remaining. After reaching the New York checkpoint, the game will replay, although at a harder difficulty. 
Anytime you run out of fuel, your game will end, although you are allowed to continue for buying in at an extra credit, although you will begin with a score of zero, although management has the option to turn off the continue option. This game was also released under the name Traverse USA as well as Zippy Race Overseas. The name change between Traverse USA and Zippy Race can be made through management dip switch settings. Other than the name change, the gameplay is identical. Scoring for the game is as follows. You'll earn 500 points for every car you pass during the first portion of each racing leg and 200 points for every car you safely pass during the straightaway portion during the final portion of each leg. You'll earn 700 points for every time you jump a leg or use the wheelie strip on the paved road. You'll also earn 100 points for each fuel unit when you reach New York. At the end of each leg, you'll earn bonus points based on your rank. If your position is 99th or worse, you won't earn any points. If your rank is 91st to 98th position, you'll earn 600 points. If your rank is 81st to 90th, you'll earn 800 points. If your rank is 71st to 80th position, you'll earn 1,000 points. If your rank is 61st to 70th, you'll earn 1,200 points. If your rank is 51st to 60th, you'll earn 1,400 points. If your rank is 41st to 50th, you'll earn 1,600 points. If your rank is 31st to 40th, you'll earn 1,800 points. If your rank is 21st to 30th, you'll earn 2,000 points. If your rank is 16th to 20th, you'll earn 2,200 points. If your rank is 11th to 15th, you'll earn 2,400 points. If your rank is 7th through 10th, you'll earn 3,000 points. If your rank 6th position, you'll earn 6,000 points. 5th position will earn you 8,000 points. 4th position will earn you 10,000 points. 3rd position will earn you 12,000 points. 2nd position will earn you 14,000 points, and 1st position will earn you 20,000 points. I enjoyed playing this game and would recommend playing it whether in an arcade setting or on an emulator. I like this game more than Capcom Bowling, but not as much as Junior Pac-Man, so Motor Race USA jumps into the 78th position overall. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any games you'd like me to review, please leave a message below or on my homepage. Please remember hit like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned to new videos every Sunday.